Hold on to your heart, my beloved child today. You won't believe what's happened. A woman is paying a huge price for what she did to you. It's a story of betrayal, deception, and the ultimate comeuppance. But hold on, because the twists and turns in this saga will leave you on the edge of your seat. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So, buckle up, because we're diving into the shocking details right now. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting, yes. Keep in mind, our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? The angel is delivering a message to you, promising that a new journey filled with grandeur awaits you. The angels will shower you and your loved ones with opportunities and abundance. However, they also bring concerning news. One of your relatives is paying a high price for hurting you and your family. They tried to sow discord in your household, hoping to see your family depressed for days on end. This person, once regarded as a genuine ally and supporter, has been betraying your family for a long time. Their intention was to undermine you, destroy your reputation, and bring devastation to your goals. They have caused deep trauma and tried to overwhelm your family with hostility and hatred. The angels want you to know that you must never rely on this person and remain on the defensive. You can never expect any good from them. Their hateful intentions are clear, and soon, they will disappear from your life. The angels urge you to seal all entryways to ensure these individuals can never return to your home. They harbor no positive thoughts about you or your family. The Holy Divinity will bless your family, and the angels will keep watch over them. All the evil and hatred will soon vanish. Your loved ones will be kept in a safety zone forever. The angels are preparing to help your family in all aspects of life. God's miraculous strength is unparalleled, and you will withstand and overcome challenges. Your close-knit circle will receive favorable and enthusiastic breaks from the Lord's abode. The angels will open up new horizons, washing away stagnation and pessimistic thoughts. The awful days and negative ideas will soon cease to exist in your life. Magnificent changes are approaching in your distant future. You are endowed with long life, happiness, and many blessings over a lifetime. Prepare to step into luxury and limitless wealth that is approaching you. Your return will bring you a pleasant life. Remember to be grateful for all the angels have done to make your life valuable and pleasant. Recite the blessings bestowed upon you by the Deity above. Claim the divine blessings by typing, I am pouring forth blessings upon you. Open the door of your heart and welcome them. As you navigate life's challenges, remember these words. You are journeying toward affluence, triumphant felicity, and well-being. Prepare for blessings, exceeding your imagination. I shall transform your insufficiencies into superabundance. The Divine speaks, conveying profound assurance to its beloved. These words represent steadfast dedication to action and unshakable loyalty to my word. I'll make up for all the wrongs. Get back what was taken from you, defeat your enemies, and remove anything that stands in your way. Remind yourself that your body will heal, sincere love will come your way, and your family will too. You will be abounding in prosperity and your worries and fears will fade into the past. The angels are planning to defeat those who wish you harm. Their plans will never come to fruition, and your family is safeguarded and defended against all evil. The dangers hovering over your shoulder are over now. The angels will fade away the pain and trouble others have caused you. 
The love and kindness you exude have caught the angel's eye. They don't want you to cross paths with these harmful people anymore. Instead, the universe wants you to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who will always support you. Your guardian angel is always at your side. Nevertheless, the divine urges you to proceed with utmost caution. The cosmic stars will always defend you. The impending danger they pose will be defeated, and those who have hurt you will face the consequences of their actions. The chains of animosity and hatred will soon be broken, and these individuals will exit your life. The angels advise you to close your doors to ensure these ill-intentioned people never enter your home again. They do not wish you or your family well. The angels are planning to foil their schemes, ensuring their plans will never come to fruition. Your family is protected and guarded against all evil individuals. The dangers that loomed over your shoulders have dissipated, and the angels will alleviate the pain and troubles inflicted by others. Your loving and kind nature has caught the attention of the angel, who advises you to avoid crossing paths with these harmful individuals. Instead, the universe desires you to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who will always support you and never let you down. Expect marvels to unfold over the next four days, bringing an influx of blessings, extraordinary occurrences, and pivotal breakthroughs. The divine is stepping in to break negative patterns, ushering in a period of freedom, abundance, and financial success. Remember, your protection is ensured, guiding you to righteousness. May the grace of God ease your pains, worries, and difficulties, blessing you with good health, happiness, and inner calm. Miracles and enhancements tailored uniquely for you are on their way. Place your trust in the Divine, who orchestrates auspicious occurrences across various facets of your life. Know that you are deeply loved and that your prosperity is ardently desired. During both joyful and challenging times, you will receive plenty of blessings and financial prosperity. The Divine remains vigilant, facilitating a life filled with contentment and fulfillment. As you embark on a new week, brace yourself for moments of jubilation, serenity, enriching connections, and extraordinary outcomes. The Divine is your guide, bestowing joy and gratification, and is capable of orchestrating miracles that alleviate your burdens. Trust that Divine Assistance is always timely, working behind the scenes to make miracles happen. A safety net envelops you and your family, shielding you at all times. Your family and home are protected from negativity and the angels are ready to shower you with blessings and inner tranquility. The cosmos will bestow divine treasures and blessings upon you and your household, filling your senses with joy and calm. The holy divinity will bless your family and the angels will watch over them. All negative vibes and hatred will soon dissipate, ensuring the perpetual safety of your loved ones. The angels are preparing to assist your family in all aspects of life. The miraculous strength of God is unparalleled, and you will overcome and triumph over challenges. Opportunities and breakthroughs from the divine realm will favor your endeavors. The angels will open up new horizons, washing away stagnation and pessimistic thoughts that have hindered your progress. The departure of negativity from your life will bring an end to the days of hardship and negative thinking. Beautiful changes are on the horizon, and you are blessed with longevity, happiness, and immense joy. A remarkable and unprecedented boom will greatly benefit your entire life's journey. Prepare yourself for the lap of luxury and boundless riches that are coming your way. Remember to appreciate the efforts of the angels 
in making your life prosperous and meaningful. This evening signifies the end of grieving, worries and hardships. The Divine is compensating for lost time and missed opportunities by bestowing wealth, excellent health and unending happiness. Trust that a transformative event is imminent, poised to revolutionize your life and financial circumstances. Relax and know that Divine Service is at work for you. All your trials will turn into blessings, bringing wealth and comfort to you and your family. Put your confidence in the Divine, anticipating a bountiful harvest of gifts, prosperity and well-being. As this week concludes, look forward to robust health, boundless happiness and profound satisfaction. Expect a multitude of fortunate changes in your life before the year's end. Your angel wishes to share a story about a woman who paid a steep price for her actions. The story of Miriam and her betrayal. This tale teaches us that deceit and betrayal come with significant consequences. Once upon a time, in the land of Canaan, there lived a woman named Miriam. Miriam was a trusted friend of the family of Joshua, a devout servant of God who led his household with integrity and faith. Miriam, however, harbored jealousy and resentment toward Joshua and his family, for reasons only she knew. Despite the family's kindness and trust in her, Miriam sought to create division and discord among them. She spread false rumors, manipulated situations, and turned others against Joshua's family, all while pretending to be a loyal friend. One day, the Lord spoke to Joshua in a vision, revealing the true nature of Miriam's heart and her deceitful actions. Joshua was heartbroken, but trusted in the Lord's justice. He confronted Miriam with the truth, but instead of repenting, she denied her actions and continued to sow discord. As time passed, Miriam's schemes began to unravel. Her lies were exposed, and those she had manipulated saw through her deception. Miriam found herself isolated, as no one trusted her anymore. The community turned away from her, and she faced the consequences of her actions alone. Desperate and broken, Miriam sought solace in the wilderness, far from the people she had wronged. It was there, in her solitude, that she encountered an angel of the Lord. The angel spoke to her with compassion yet firmness. Miriam, you have paid a great price for your betrayal. The pain you inflicted has returned to you manifold. Yet, the Lord is merciful. Repent, seek forgiveness, and restore what you have broken. Miriam wept bitterly realizing the depth of her sins. She repented sincerely, seeking God's forgiveness. She returned to the community, humbling herself before Joshua and his family, confessing her wrongdoings and asking for their forgiveness. Moved by her genuine remorse, Joshua forgave her and the community gradually welcomed her back, though the trust took time to rebuild. Miriam dedicated the rest of her life to serving others and restoring the relationship she had damaged. Through her journey of repentance and redemption, she learned the true meaning of integrity and the power of God's mercy. Moral, the story of Miriam teaches us that deceit and betrayal come with a great price. It reminds us that true repentance, humility and seeking forgiveness can lead to redemption and restoration. It also emphasizes the importance of integrity, trust, and the transformative power of God's grace. Their scorn is part of the price you will pay to walk where you are about to walk and know what you are about to know. As things unfold, bit by bit, be faithful to share this blessing and illuminate the path for others seeking a deeper understanding something new is on your horizon. Understand that this isn't entirely new in the grand scheme of things. It's part of a long-established history, 
rooted in my spirit, bringing healing, deliverance, and transformation. However, for you, it will feel unfamiliar. You've caught glimpses of it, sensed its truth on the periphery, and experienced fleeting thoughts and sensations. But it hasn't been central to your path or understanding. That all changes now. A wise steward in the kingdom brings forth both old and new treasures, revealing secrets lay. From the foundation of the world at this moment in your life, and the lives of many others, Embracing this will require stepping outside your comfort zone. Feeling apprehension or fear in the face of the unknown is natural, but I assure you, this is good, very good. Its intrinsic value matches its enduring nature. Because it's new to you, there might be initial surprise. This is perfectly normal. Don't let that deter you. Hold fast to your faith and stay close to me. There's more for you to discover, and soon, you'll be equipped to share this newfound knowledge with others. It is now your time to emerge from the darkness. I call you like Lazarus, out of the grave, to walk in the power and light of my kingdom. Today, you are renewed and set free from every bondage. Lack is being replaced with provision. Provision for joy, provision for peace. You are entitled to the full treasuries of heaven, which are open to meet every need in your life. I invite you to enter into this new phase of your life with rejoicing. Embrace your identity as the beloved child, upon whom I have lavished my favor and blessings in every aspect of your existence. Come forth, says God. I call you out of the darkness and into the light. You are now free to experience the fullness of all that the cross has provided for you. Your righteousness is derived from me and me alone. This is your blessed place, a place of peace, where you will receive all the blessings that I have made available to you. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath, as told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45, serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, 
the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, He grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we're always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. 
Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. 
God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness, your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord. I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. 
May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives. Trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, 
knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the one who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. 
Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.